And as we speak, Eyewitness News certified meteorologist George Waldenberger is flying with Hurricane Hunters around Dorian. Mm -hmm. They actually go right through the storm. He is not expected to land from what will be a rough ride until late tonight. But before he got on board the plane that is known as Gonzo, George reported on some of what he expects to see. Noah's Hurricane Hunters take off from here, Lakeland's Linder Airport. Now this is the jet we'll get on to do our hurricane hunting mission. It's a G4, a high-flying, fast-moving jet circling around the storm, getting an idea of the steering currents and ultimately where Dorian will go. But there is another type of plane that takes off from here, the lower-flying, heavier planes that go right through the storm. This is the P-3 Orion. It has a nickname, Miss Piggy. Right now, an identical aircraft called Kermit is going through Hurricane Dorian as we speak. This is a look at all the storms this plane has flown through, all the countries as well. On the underside, these holes are chutes for various tools to fall through and sample the atmosphere. On the underside of the P-3 Orion, we have the stepped frequency microwave radiometer. It measures the wind speed at the surface. We also have this multimodal radar. This huge thing will drop 18 inches and provide real-time information of the eye wall as the plane is flying through the storm. While the planes Miss Piggy and Kermit are flying through Dorian, we'll be flying around Dorian on our plane Gonzo to get a better idea of the steering currents and where Dorian ultimately goes. We'll have more on this mission coming up. For now, we're reporting from Lakeland in Polk County. I'm certified meteorologist George Waldenberger, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.